Welcome back to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today I'm going to show you how to clean, prepare, and cook this guy. A Jack or Val. Y'all stay tuned. <laughs> back here on the fish killing table I don't know how this guy got such a bad rep as a table fair I mean I always was a kid growing up we caught them by the hundreds everybody said uh, that's, nobody eats those throw that back well, I guess the old timers were pretty picky and but the old timers had a fish on every limb and schools and schools of fish practically jumping in the boat nowadays we have to work a lot harder to get them so when you do get a nice fish hmm, you gotta try to make use of them so today we're gonna show you real quick how to fillet this jack or All right, well the first thing you're gonna need is a really sharp knife. Now, this end down here by the tail is solid bone. So, um, you know, we're not gonna try to get that, uh, that bony end off, but we're gonna start him right here behind the gills. And he's a pretty tough fish. This one's nice and cold. Caught him a couple hours. And you can see this is one of the reasons why, you know, the old timers really didn't like him. But we're, you know, we're gonna bleed this guy, and um, he's gonna be fine. So we're just gonna turn him around, just so you can fillet any other fish. We're gonna go start him right down the backbone. You know, we're just gonna stay right on this side of the backbone, and cut him down here to his bony end. <clears throat> now sometimes you can just take this half right on off of there, and then we'll cut all that bone out of it. See how hard that is? It didn't even dent him. So, I'm just going to continue just taking him right off, his whole side off. Right down along that backbone. I got to open him up. And some people call these canal tuna, jacks, uh, or just a pain in the butt um, because they are very voracious predators. They are excellent fighting fish. Oop. This one took me about 20 minutes to get them in on light tackle. But as you can see, their meat is very much like a tuna. Maybe that's why they got their nickname Canal Tuna. So we're going to take the, uh, the other flay off and I'll show you what we do then. Okay, so we got them rinsed off, so we're just going to go ahead and skin this guy just like you would uh, any other large fish you might catch. I didn't do a very good job of that when I went right through the skin, sometimes my knife gets a little too sharp. like that. Don't even try to get too close to that tail. Okay, and you see this very, very dark red here on this side. And we're going to try to remove most of that and I'll show you how. So let's go ahead and get rid of these. Now we got a lot of pin bones and this one has a little pocket. They have this little pocket that runs way back into their slab. And uh, but their pin bones also follow them. So what I'm going to do is just, I can feel those pin bones. So I'm going to follow that guy right down the center of his fillet and take him apart at that, that junction. And I got this big stake here. Now this is why I lift a little bit of uh, skin on him, which we'll just carefully take off. Now there's going to be some waste to this fish, just due to the fact that uh, he has this real dark red line. But underneath that is a very, very, very tuna type um, meat. So we're going to go ahead and just like take it out at a 45 degree angle to start with, and then 
You see, that's like almost like a, that's like liver, almost like liver. So, but underneath you can start to see the the regular um, grainy, grainy fish like uh, any other type of fish. Up, it's dark. So it's going to take a little bit of the time. Now I was exposing the, the uh, meat below. We'll go ahead and we're going to clean up all this red meat on this, and we'll go to the next step. So uh, this is what we're left with after we took up all this, uh, you know, liver-like uh, red meat off of them. So even off the five pounder, there's still, uh, you know, substantial amount of meat there. Then the younger ones, the smaller ones, are going to be a little lighter colored meat than the than the older ones. So we're going to take this one since he's an old one, and uh, we're going to set him up for smoking. So next thing we're going to do is put him on a brine. All right, we brought him in uh, into the studio here. So we're going to dry brine these, so you want to pat off any um, extra water or oil that may be on them. They're, they're pretty oily fish, so <clears throat> just going to clean them up real good. And this brining process is really going to help with the uh, texture and flavor. So here in this bowl, we just have a quarter cup of kosher salt and two tablespoons of sugar. And it's going to liberally just coat them completely. And we'll flip them over, do it on the other side. Just leave them in a cool place. Uh, depending on how uh, brine you want them, we're going to let them go about an hour while we're getting the smoker ready. Right, we got just a few, about a dozen coals ready. We're going to start that menu method on the PBS and put them right in the middle. And we are using our favorite brand, Uncle Stubbs All Natural. So you don't really need to put any uh, wood chunks or anything like that on if you're using this. Kingsford. You may want to put one chunk of your favorite hickory is really good on these. So let's go ahead and get the smoker together. All right, water pan in this time. Rarely use it any other time, but smoking fish seems to work out uh, pretty well. So we got this set up for our uh, temperature probe for DigiQ. We're going to use that. And then we'll clean that up and make sure that it's very, very well oiled before we put our fish on. Better come up the tent. Okay, it's been about an hour. You notice I put a knife under one end of the pan and that lets uh, all the moisture that comes out of them drain down there. So we're going to take them inside, rinse the salt off, and we're going to give them a good seasoning and put them on the smoker. Right, these guys are all seasoned. Uh, we, use, we did use a little. Uh, Don Prudhomme Seafood Magic and uh, our own rub, combination of the two. Uh, use this uh, with your favorite. Spicy as you want, um, you know, sweet as you want. Okay, I sprayed that uh, rack very, very liber liberally with uh, cooking oil spray and uh, and we put the fish on there and get that probe where it's not right in the meat. All right, and then we laid them crossways across the cracks. Now, usually you see me when I smoke a fish, we leave the skin and the scales on them. The reason we didn't do that here is because we wanted to get all that uh, red meat out. And there's really no way to do that, leaving the skin and scales on them. So, but we're gonna do these, you know, as a fresh smoke. Um, eat today, not for storage, and uh, not for keeping for a couple weeks. So we'll go ahead and get the lid back on there. We got DigiQ set 260. You could probably go to 275. We'll see, it's getting late, so we might bump it up a little bit. We just want to cook them through. We really don't want to dry them. been about an hour 45 minutes so we're going to take a look at them and give them kind of a poke test you know they're going to start to flake you 
kind of feel that with your finger. Uh, these guys are ready. So let's get them off. plate up here. Uh, we're trying to stay on a low carb diet. Here we have a half a sweet potato. We dished that out with a little uh, teaspoon and I put a big dollop of butter and uh, some real cinnamon over top. Here I'm going to go ahead and just uh, cut half of one of these smoked fillets. That right there. And then here we have uh, some of our homegrown uh, organic broccoli spears. These were frozen from our last year's crop. Right on the side there. There you go. This is uh, smoked Jack Carval and uh, taste test coming up. Alright, well if anybody uh, out there has watched any of my other videos, you'll know that uh, I generally admit when things are crappy. So, I'm going to give this a shot and I'm going to give you a, a real review on it. That is as good as any smoked fish I've had. Um, I've had a lot of different kinds, but that is really good. The, um, you know, it's got that back end of the, the saltiness from the brine that we did on the, in, in the very first, you know, step of preparing it here to get it ready to smoke. The, uh, the, uh, the spice comes out really good and it's tender, not strong, not bitter. So, next time you're out there fishing like we were today, and one big old Jack or Val, hey, bring him on home and try to make this dish. You'll be glad you did. Till next time, keep subscribing, sharing, commenting on the page there. You go over to our Facebook page and, you know, visit us there. You can post videos and pictures of what you're doing. So, we'll see you next time. Mmm. Pretty good. Pretty damn good. I'm going for some more. <laughs> it's a tag I'm Jack. Hey, well, next time you catch a big old Jack of Val, stop thinking about him just as trash. Start thinking about him as treasure. He's pretty dang good if you've done him right. We'll see you next time.